Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are talking Manchester City versus Arsenal, the massive Premier League clash that is coming at you uh, Wednesday night. Massive game in prospect. This one could definitely decide where the title is going by the end of the season. The top two are clashing at the Etihad Stadium. All eyes this week on that massive fixture. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the game and giving my predictions and analysis on what I expect and what I think may happen across the entirety of 90 minutes of huge Premier League football that could have massive uh, ramifications and answers to what has already been an incredible and very crazy season. Before we go any further on doing that though, I'm gonna I want to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things always and forever be greatly appreciated. Also, get involved in the comments section. I'm sure everybody has uh, has thoughts, comments, opinions, and most of all, of course, predictions on how they will think and expect this game to go uh, on Wednesday night. So do get involved in that as well. All your all of them, I'm sure, will make for great and interesting reading. But for now, let's get into the video. Let's talk Manchester City versus Arsenal at Yeti Had Stadium. Look, I think, I think if Arsenal hadn't have obviously slipped up these past two to three weeks, this game would be even more intriguing. I think the the draw that Arsenal suffered on Friday night at the hands of Southampton has really. I wouldn't necessarily say completely dampened the kind of atmosphere that this game has created uh, for a lot of, for the the back end of this season. Obviously, a lot of people had eyes on this being the the, the game that decides where the Premier League title's fate is going to be going at the end of the campaign, and of course that likely may still be the case. Um, but obviously, with Arsenal dropping points to Liverpool a few weeks ago, dropping points to West Ham a couple of weeks ago, and then, of course, uh, drawing to Southampton and dropping more points uh, on Friday night. The, uh, the advantage in the title race is now heavily in Manchester City's favour. Yes, Arsenal are top of the league. Yes, they have a five-point gap, but it's those two games in hand that many people believe is going to swing things back into Pep Guardiola's uh, side's favour. And of course, games in hand don't necessarily mean points on the board, but when you look at the form that Manchester City are in right now, it's remarkable. It's impeccable. Despite the fact that they're competing on multiple fronts, they've got an FA Cup final that they're going to have to look forward to somewhere down the line. They've got a, they've obviously got a Champions League semi final with Real Madrid to fe to play as well. Pep Guardiola is balancing his side perfectly to compete in all three of these major competitions. Hence why they've got so far in each and every single one of them. Hence why they've now in contention to have the advantage firmly back within their grasp. Um, assuming they can obviously get those points on the board in those two games in hand at the very least. And then add on top of that, this game where City win this game, I believe it to be over. I've backed Arsenal so much this season and there still could be a sting in the tail. Arsenal could definitely pull off an incredible result and they're going to have to pull off an incredible result if they're going to have anything to say in the final stages of this title race. Um, to, to obviously go on and beat City to obviously go, uh, stake their claim to it. And I've backed Arsenal so much. I've said that I believe it's time for a change. I believe that this season could be it because I saw the, the qualities in Arsenal it, that I see in title contenders that I thought Arsenal might be able to hold their nerve kind of thing. I think things were going for them. Things were working with them. But they fell off these past few weeks and for the first time I was starting to kind of doubt my my prediction. I was starting to doubt in Arsenal. And I just think that this is what City do. I've been saying it for the past few weeks that Arsenal need to hold their nerve and I believe they can. But I was also saying that City crank through the gears at this stage. City play the like 
But City do this every season, and I am I as a Liverpool fan know it because I've seen it firsthand and 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 witnessed it firsthand season after season for the past few years. This is what City do. They play the first three quarters of the season almost in sort of third gear. And then when it hits that final running, when it hits that final quarter of a season, they shift into fourth and then they go into fifth and then they go into like hyperdrive and they just demolish teams. And that is exactly what they're doing right now. And it doesn't matter what competition it is, City are doing it. And of course, when you've got a Norwegian goal scoring machine up front for you, spearheading an attack spearheading his way to breaking numerous goal scoring records and he's gonna and obviously he's draw level with the current goal scoring record he's gonna obviously look to break that goal scoring record uh, on Wednesday night and I think he's got a very very good chance of doing that let's face it you just have to hold your hands up and and, and say what an amazing team this Pep Guardiola side is um, they are incredible they are phenomenal but they're not impenetrable. And I think Arsenal can definitely cause them some food for thought in this game. I think Arsenal have been the... the it would be a bit of a get-out-of-jail-free card to say that Arsenal are the downfall of their own mistakes. And to an extent, yes, they are. Because Arsenal have made some very critical errors. Especially in recent games that have caused them to drop the points that they've dropped. Fair, fair play and credit to the teams that obviously have managed to get points from Arsenal in the past few weeks. But Arsenal have also made mistakes that have been the cause of their own downfall. If they can eradicate them in this game, if the stars align, they have a perfect game. They can definitely thwart Manchester City here. Despite the fact that they have got... A machine in Haaland. They've got strength in depth. They've got Riyad Mahrez coming off the back of scoring a hat-trick in the FA Cup semi-final to see them through to the final. They've got the likes of Julian Alvarez waiting in the wings to obviously capitalise on an opportunity to stake a claim to the starting lineup. Jack Grealish is really coming into his element right now in this Manchester City team. Kevin De Bruyne, we know all about Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri at the heart of that midfield, just keeping things ticking over and being the destroyer. Gundogan waiting in the wings. It doesn't matter who it is in that midfield. All really, really good. And then a back four that has been solid. The only obvious exception to that in this game is going to be Nathan Ake, who I think has been brilliant this season. I think Ake's been brilliant, and I think he's gone a little bit under the radar and under the mic... Uh, under the radar a little bit simply for the reason that I don't think a lot of people give him the credit he deserves because he's not uh, a, a star name, a flashy name, but I think he's been absolutely brilliant this season and has been one of the unsung heroes, so to speak, of Manchester City's campaign from a defensive point of view. I know he's going to be absent, but City still have a lot of strength and a lot of depth. And talking about Ake, on the flip side of that, Arsenal can certainly cause cause them threat. Gabriel Mart Martinelli on one side, Bukayo Saka on the other. I think that he'll go up against maybe Imeric Laporte um, in that left-back position. I think he might fancy his chances more against Laporte than maybe Ake. Um, I think Laporte is a bit more suspect in that left-back position, unless, of course, Guardiola is thinking about putting maybe Sergio Gomez there or maybe throwing a bit more of a curveball of someone else in that position. Um, but I think Saka might fancy his chances in right wing uh, this coming game. Martinelli on the other side, I'm sure, will give the defence some food for thought. Gabriel Jesus obviously knows this Manchester City team more than anyone, uh, well, with the exception of Zinchenko, obviously. Um, so he'll be using, obviously, what his knowledge to maybe his benefit. Zinchenko le using his leadership and his knowledge as well on this City team. Partey will need to have an excellent game. Xhaka needs to have an excellent game. Whoever they decide to put in that midfield, obviously Odegaard as well. They've got, um, uh, obviously, the, whoever they decide to put in the defence, sorry. That's going to be the concern. That's going to be the concern. Haaland against Rob Holding 
doesn't fill me with any confidence if I was an Arsenal fan. They're, he's going to need to pull out the game of all games to thwart Haaland and to stop him from scoring and from breaking, obviously, or well, fully breaking, uh, Mohamed Salah's goal-scoring record, which is broken anyway. It's going to happen between now and the end of the season, but obviously Arsenal will want it to um, take place at least um, <laughs> somewhere down the line. But like I say, Haaland against Holding doesn't fill me with any confidence for Rob Holding, unfortunately. He's going to have to pull up the game of his life if he wants to stop Erling Haaland. Gabriel's going to have to pull out an, uh, an unstoppable game. If it's going to be Ben White at right back, like I say, he's going to have to have a storming game against what is going to be uh, a very dangerous side of Manchester City with Jack Grealish uh, coming into form. Um, obviously, on the other side of that, you've got Zinchenko probably against Riyad Mahrez. That's going to be an interesting battle between those two. So many interesting battles, so many intriguing battles, um, and it's going to be it's going to make for an intriguing game. And like I say, from what we've seen in the past few weeks, City really on fire right now in some scorching red hot form. Arsenal seemingly crumbling a little bit under the pressure, seemingly just not being at the races, making critical errors. For me, if you were at, I think I said a few weeks ago, I would back Arsenal to get a result here. With obviously them dropping points in recent games, showing signs of maybe the pressure getting to Arsenal a little bit. Obviously, the scenario has changed. Arsenal needed to just play it smart, get to this game, play it smart, and maybe go for, and then they can play for a draw. Now that obviously the script is like reversed, City are in no are in a position now where they don't have to win, and I think they'll be sent they'll be sensing blood anyway. And Guardiola will be definitely telling them go out and win because he obviously wants to win. But it's not the end of the world for City if it's a draw. If it's a draw, it's still well within their hands. And I think with the way that they've seen Arsenal perform in recent games and the results that they've been picking up in recent games, they might sense that Arsenal are feeling the pressure a little bit. City will, sell, will smell blood. They'll sense that Arsenal are feeling the pressure. If it's a draw, it's not the end of the world for City because they can still go on and win the remaining games that they've got to play and including those two games in hand. For Arsenal, if they draw, again, it's not the worst result, but it's not the best. A draw keeps them obviously intact and obviously then it's over to Manchester City for them to, to uh, see out their end of that kind of title race for, the, for them to obviously get through. But it's about whether or not Arsenal can hold their nerve. And from if recent games are anything to go by, it seems like they're cracking under the pressure. And it was going to be very intriguing to me how this game will go. Like I say, if you were to ask me a few weeks ago, and I think I even put this out there when I was talking about this, I said Arsenal will get something from this game because I just I, I could see it happening. And maybe I was going with more of what my heart wanted than my head because I've gone with Arsenal so much and backed Arsenal so much throughout the course of this season. And I want them to win it because someone it's something different. It stops Man City from making incredible and phenomenal history. But with the way that things have gone recently, with how City are going from strength to strength, with obviously Erling Haaland looking, not looking like he's going to be slowing down anytime soon, with the thought of Rob Holding, of all defenders, going up against an in-form Erling Haaland, the players that City have in form right now, I unfortunately can only see one winner, and that is City. And it looks like I'm going to be wrong about my prediction, but that's okay. But that's that's okay. That's just the way it is sometimes. And I guess with the way that obviously the game is set up, City don't need to be going too gung-ho over this. But at the same time, I reckon they'll want to get the job done and dusted because this could be a Premier League title six-pointer. I would expect Guardiola to instruct his side to go out there and uh, and go for the kill. Like I said, I think they will be sensing blood after um, 
what they've seen Arsenal do in recent games. And I think they'll ap apply the press right from the off, very, very high up, because they know that Arsenal can be suspect to defensive errors. And I think that that's going to be key. If Arsenal can adapt their style somehow, if Arsenal can cut out those errors, maybe it might give City something else to think about going forward. Um, but if they continue to play the way that they have done in recent games, City will get the job done, unfortunately. As much as I want Arsenal to win, I've got to go with a City win. And I'm going to predict that Pep Guardiola side come out of this one as 3-1 winners. Sorry, Arsenal, but that's just the way I see it. But those are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions. Most of all, of course, predictions of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of this Arsenal-Manchester uh, City clash that is going to be possibly for the Premier League title? Is it game over if Arsenal don't win this game? I think it is, in all honesty. I think Arsenal definitely need to win to keep this Premier League title chase alive. I think if they, if they lose this, or even if they draw this, City are well within their right to take it from here. Um, and is it over a City win? Or will there be another twist in the tail? That kind of thing. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts, your comments, opinions, but most of all, of course, your predictions on this game down below in the comment section. I'm sure it'll make it interesting reading. Otherwise, hit the like button on the way out. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been... Another Fletch Talks video slash Premier League predictions video. And I'll see you all again soon. In another video.